Good morning, RJ Baxter here, your out of the box lender with your Saturday strategy. Let's talk about inflation this week. I like to talk normally about strategies on my Saturday video, but inflation is on everyone's mind and everyone's wondering what's gonna happen here. All these interest rate hikes affecting the market, inflation affecting the market, everything's more expensive. And both the consumer price index and the pr producer price index were released this week and they, they both came in higher than expectations, meaning hotter. And this was not a good sign for, the, for the, the markets and the markets did not like this news. And I wanted to talk a little bit more about why these numbers keep going up and the fact that we might have relief coming soon. So let's first talk about the core numbers. So the core uh, consumer price index inflation number is the number that strips out food and energy, which is interesting because food and energy is up so much. So that's another topic of debate as to whether you know how uh, applicable this really is to to consumers because we're all seeing it both at the grocery store and at the pump but regardless the core number strips out those two things and it looks at a basket of goods and they they say okay these items went up this month or this much over the last month and the the total core number is a 12 month look back so they add up all those numbers from the previous 12 month uh, increases or decreases, and they come up with the number for the year-over-year -year number, which was 6.6% uh, up to September. So it's a one-month look back. So the way they calculate this is they look back for the previous year, and when the September number comes out, it replaces last year's September number. So let's look at this in a little bit more detail. Um, so the September number came up at 0.4% month over month. So, the, so the, this core number increased by 0.4% from August to September. So what that means is that 0.4% replaced the 0.3% from last year. So the core number went up by 0.1% if you look at it year over year. Now for August, the number was 0.1% and it replaced the 0.2%. So for August, the core number went down a little bit, which the markets love that. It, it signaled that maybe inflation is starting to get under control. But they did not like this hotter re, uh, number for September, especially since August was 0.1 and now September is 0.4. However, if you look at the numbers dating back to last year, look at October of last year. This is when things really started to heat up and take off. October was 0.6, November 0.5, December 0.6. Now these are rounded in the nearest tenth, obviously. You can see that from the line but January 0.6. So what I'm getting at is, if these numbers keep coming out at 0 0.4, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, whatever it is, they're gonna replace these higher numbers from last year, and that could lead to lower inflation going into the winter here. So that'd be really good news for the economy. The other point is that when the Fed hikes rates, and you'll see upcoming Fed meetings here below, the next one is November 2nd, and this hot reading is signaling to the market that we could see yet another 75 basis point or 0.75% increase from the Fed. These increases in rates, which started around March of this year, they take about six months to really work their way into the economy. So we're just starting to see the effect of these rate increases on how it's gonna curb spending, cur curb, curb um, demand. And this is what the Fed is hoping uh, these rate hikes will lead to. So as we get into November, December, January, these rate hikes are going to start trickling to the economy even more. And the hope is that that'll bring down inflation. So another note on inflation is that inflation is the enemy of mortgage rates. This is uh, inflation erodes the value of the investments that are behind the bonds that are behind mortgage rates. And that's why mortgage rates tend to go up in an inflationary environment. So if in fact inflation does start to curb here heading into the winter, that is a good sign that hopefully mortgage rates will start going down a little bit, give some relief to home buyers and help make it easier for our buyers to qualify. That being said, right now is a great time for buyers. It's not as competitive out there. The market's a little bit quiet, a little bit spooky, but that also leads to great opportunities for buyers to get into a better deal on a house, to be in a better negotiating place and then, and then look to refinance the, that higher mortgage rate down the road, maybe next summer when rates come down. So give me a call if I can help you out with any buyers. We're here for you to help get pre-approvals done on the weekend. 
and we can help look at the payment for these buyers in strategic ways like the temporary buy down to get a lower payment right now. So once again, my name is RJ Baxter. You're out of the box lender. Have a great rest of your weekend and thanks for watching. And on another note, I'm offering two two-hour Realtor CE classes on reverse mortgage loans and how you can utilize this loan program to bring more business into your pipeline and help out your senior buyers. So check it out. Two dates, November 1st from 10 to 12 a.m. at Land Title and November 17th at Canyon Title on the west side of town in Golden from 9 to 11 a.m. Hope to see you there. Have a great rest of your week. And as usual, I'm here for you. If you have any buyers that you need help with over the weekend, definitely watching out. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks a lot.